I first became aware of Marion Banshees in 2003. This interesting, smart, sometimes sardonic woman started contributing to some of the posts on Speak Up. I hadn't heard of her before, but I was extremely curious. The AIJ National Conference, I got an opportunity to meet her, and she has, I think, gained the imagination and the admiration of the entire design community. And I get a chance now, as both a professional colleague and as a friend, to ask her all the questions everybody wants to know the answers to. The importance of um, events like this and, uh, and Speak Up is really about keeping a lot of dialogue open between designers, exchanging ideas. Design can be a lonely business. Design can be one person sitting at a computer uh, working away by themselves. People come out and, and are able to meet other designers and interact with them and exchange thoughts about what they see and what they hear. Essentially, I live in a rural setting, and it's very peaceful, very idyllic. I'm able to work for people all over the world without ever leaving this really wonderful, quiet, peaceful place. Well, you did the poster for Design Matters Live. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for that. How did you get the idea to do this crazy, backwards, forwards, translucent, metallic, piece of art. I wanted the poster to be something that you had to experience live. People would get it in the mail and they would be able to see the layers and it would kind of evolve as it unfolds. It was like this experiential thing. Life, love and pursuit of design is kind of an exuberant phrase which led to the sort of exuberance of the poster and the material. I actually had an epiphany when I made that poster, and that is, I actually am a designer. That's where I get my real pleasure, is figuring out how things are going to work. And, and the Design Matters Life poster is what gave me that, that realization. After I had been book typesetter for 10 years, and then a designer for 9 years, I was burned out, I, was, I didn't feel that I was doing anything worthwhile, I basically said, I, I've had enough of this, I'm going to do something else. I mean, I walked away from a really good business, earning a really good money. I was increasingly frustrated because I wanted to do different things, experimental things. My business partner, I remember her saying to me, Marion, this stuff is very nice, but nobody wants to buy it. I took a huge leap and, and just walked away from it. What I'm doing now is a combination of all of my skills and all of my interests. It's a very sort of personal expression that at the same time fills a commercial need. Generally speaking, I, I'm about complexity. I've done the simple, straightforward stuff and it doesn't interest me anymore. I'm, I'm actually more interested in making things as complex as, as anybody can take. <laughs> When I did the graphics poster, I decided to work with essentially flora and fauna and small fauna, like insects. So I, I had this theme of plants and insects. I tend to become very obsessed with things and I tend to, you know, I, I tend to sometimes just completely go overboard. And this was one of those situations. So I ended up scanning ferns and leaves and wheat and pieces of cedar and pine cones. And I just started building these layers in Photoshop. And there was this one point where I was close cropping a mosquito, and I thought, no, this is, I have gone too far this time. <laughs> what possessed you to do 150 <laughs> one of a kind hand drawn Valentine? But I, I'm going to pick a select group of people from my, um, from my list, and I will just hand draw the Valentines, and I'll be able to do it in airports and in hotel rooms. And it was February 9th, and I had done seven Valentines. Oh. And I thought, it cannot be done. 
so I did it anyway. I have a background in book typesetting. I have very strong ideas in my head about what's right and what's wrong because of what I was taught and because of how I worked. In some respects, those things are true, and in many respects, those things are not true. For myself, I like to push those rules that I know and try and make something that is, that is making me uncomfortable, but in a good way, and hope that is also interesting to other people. Now you recently completed a, a very high profile project in New York for Saks Fifth Avenue. It was totally, it was totally overwhelming. It was, uh, but really exciting too. I did um, just a whole bunch of crazy over the top type treatments for the main piece, Want It. I actually had to depict these things pictorially, like not just abstract typographically, but the typography is pictorially, it looks like an image of the thing. It's wild. The, the entire store is decked out in my graphics and I've never seen anything like it. It's really, really amazing, really fun. One of the first things that um, you wrote on Speak Up as an author was your bio. And your bio started out like this. I never have been, nor will I ever be famous. And now here you are, four years later, a mere four years later, one of the most recognizable and sought after designers, illustrators, typographers working today. I'm doing what I want to do. I'm, I'm, I enjoy my work. That's all I want to do is work. That's, that's how I work is pleasure for me. I'd rather be working than doing just about anything else. So. Thank you, Marion. Thank, Thank you, Adobe. You. Thank you, San Francisco AIGA. Thank you, everybody. Good night.